All right, YouTubers out there. Uh, I had uh, some time off this weekend, so decided to visit my local flea market, and I uh, picked up some pretty neat stuff. Let's take a look. So for ten bucks, I picked up Sega Nomad, which appears to be in excellent condition. However, it is missing the rechargeable battery pack, and unfortunately, I do not have a power adapter that'll fit this. I think I may have a car adapter that uh, might fit in there, uh, so I can go ahead and test this unit out. Uh, the gentleman sold it to me for ten bucks and tossed in this game, Altered Beast from back in the day, uh, so I can test it out uh, once I got home. Told me if it didn't work, I can return it, which is awesome. Especially uh, for a flea market, if the guy's even there when I go back. But it's still pretty neat. Uh, screen has uh, some smudges, uh, so a little bit of scuffing, but overall in very good condition. The really controls feel great. Everything looks good. Uh, like I said, 10 bucks. Can't go wrong. Set that aside here. Uh, also picked up for my Dreamcast uh, the Dreamcast VGA adapter. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. We'll test that out and see how that works. Still play the Dreamcast quite a bit. One of my favorite consoles. It's pretty cool. This is only a buck. And for 10 bucks, I found this interesting thing. It is what appears to be some form of a PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16. I've never seen this thing for the TG-16 in the States, so I'm assuming it must have been imported. Um, it has the so, uh, select and run buttons, two buttons, has the turbo off and slow, turbo off and auto, and some sliders here for the speed, which you can slide back and forth like little faders. It's pretty neat. It's two buttons, like I said. It has suction cups at the bottom, and it looks like a turbo duo style input because it's smaller than the Turbo Graphics one, and I do remember when I had a Turbo Duo, it used these uh, smaller type. Um, so I'm assuming it's uh, for a PC engine. It must have uh, been brought over here and ended up in uh, someone's basement, and they probably just tossed it out. It does say on here XE1 PC. Looks cool. This was ten bucks. Pick that up. And last but not least, for two bucks, I picked this up. And the reason why I picked this up is because uh, I was a big Sega Master System fan uh, as a teenager. And I don't ever recall this being on a card. I remember this being included as a pack-in game uh, built into the system. Or it would come with that uh, Astro, I believe Astro Warrior maybe, or Safari Hunt in a cartridge. But I've never seen it in a card form which is kind of interesting and this was only two bucks so I decided to pick that up which I would have had the wish I would have had the case but uh, uh, like I said for two bucks couldn't go wrong with this maybe a collector item I'm not sure pretty neat stuff so uh, I'd say a pretty good um, pickup and some interesting stuff uh, once again digging this controller hoping to get a turbo duo uh, in the future again. Uh, disappointed I sold mine a while back, back in 2000. Um, but uh, we'll try to come up on one soon. But overall, uh, some pretty cool little neat uh, flea market pickups. Um, until next time, this is Syphic signing off.